art was like the first thing I did that I was actually good at. I started working on my mom's potter's wheel and I started making a lot of ceramics and I instantly figured out that I was really good with my hands. You know, I could like make stuff from start to finish with my hands and I could like think of something I wanted to make and make it. From there I started shaping surfboards with John Wagner was making all my boards as a kid and one day he just gave me this blank that was kind of like a defect. He said you should just try to shape this board because you've been watching me for a long time. And so I made my first board and, and I shaped, you know, probably about 200 surfboards around from high school through college. I wanted to kind of have like a, a surf vehicle, like, like something I could take on surf trips. And I got this old Honda Civic that was totaled and kind of out of necessity, like wanting a camper but only having this little Honda Civic, I built this camper on it. I think just building that camper and driving it around got me really excited about like, you know, customizing cars and building campers and, and just kind of the, the interactions I was having with people while I was out on the road it was really exciting to me and it seemed like it was kind of like a really good conversation starter. People just come up and be like, that's awesome, and just, you know, start talking, we'd have these incredible conversations. I was like, this is what art is really supposed to do. Art, to me, is like kind of something you stand around and kind of have some sort of conversation with people, and it can bring people close together. To me, that's exactly what the first vehicle did. And so it got me excited about continuing to build other vehicles and like taking existing objects that we have in our life and kind of like repurposing them and like making them our own and kind of what that's all about. The Sunset is a really great neighborhood. This street right here, there's, you know, Kyle Field, my favorite musician of all time. There's Dave and Lana, and they have Outerlands, which is a really awesome restaurant. And then John Mollusk is just right across the street here. I think I'm mostly inspired and influenced by people who kind of take what they have, even if it's very limited, and make something out of it. I think the cool thing about Mollusk is it's kind of like made by the community that surrounds it. I'll be in there and every single person who walks in, I'm like, this person's probably someone interesting that I want to have a conversation with. John McCambridge, uh, he owns Mollusk. Danny makes these wood surfboards that are totally awesome. Jeff is a sign painter and an artist and he's actually the art director of Mollusk. There's Luke who's you know, an incredible furniture maker and Josh is a, he makes chairs. It's like, it's a real like self-sufficient community. Every single time I have any extra money, it goes right back into art. I just know that that's all going to work out, so I don't worry too much. Every single day, I'm doing a very different thing than the next. I never know what the next job will be, but it seems to all work out. And I'm, I'm a pretty strong believer in just kind of letting you know, just do exactly what you want, and it will work out.